All right, let's wrap this thing up. Number 20, last problem. NAF 98, final practice. It's a beautiful sunny summer day. Um, so we are supposed to graph the solution to this inequality. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat it like it's an equation and find my, my boundary points, my border points. So use quadratic formula. Um, I could complete the square. I'm gonna try and factor four and negative three. So x plus four, x minus three equals zero. And again, I'm not solving this. I'm just finding the boundary points. Um, negative four and three. And while we're graphing this, notice we only have one variable. We only have an x variable. So we, don't, we only need an x-axis. We don't need a y-axis. Uh, negative four and three. So let's put negative four here. Negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. That puts three there. Yep. Now this is less than or equal to. That tells me what type of um, symbols I use. And remember, it's those brackets if we're doing the set theory. We could do the closed dots as well. If it said, said strictly less than, we'd use those parentheses or the open circles. Um, so now, these are my boundary points. These are where this equals zero. So now I have to figure out when does this dip below zero? When does this these values become less than zero. And remember these regions um, are usually all or nothing. So let me plug in zero and test it. So plug in zero for x. Zero minus zero minus 12. And then we have to see is that true. Is negative 12 less than zero? Sure is. So zero works. That means this whole region works. Here's my picture of my inequality right there. 